Hi ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about scheduling and clearing activities in ACT. Once you have a lot of information in ACT and you start working with it, the next obvious or suggested activity is to schedule activities. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do that. ACT gives you a very simple way to schedule activities and its three featured or primary activities are calls, meetings, and to-dos. So obviously if you've got to schedule a call or a meeting or there's something you need to do, ACT makes it very easy to do that. I want to draw your attention up to the icons just below the menu bar. So we have the call icon, the meeting, and the to-do. One thing I want you to know right off the bat is this. When you use either one of these to schedule something, the dialog boxes are virtually exactly the same. So whether you do a call or a meeting to do, this exercise will show you exactly how to do that. But the only difference being this, ACT will put it on your calendar and your task list and define it by which you chose. So a call, a meeting, or to do. Obviously, calls might have different settings than meetings, but we'll get into that later, and I'll just touch on that briefly. So to start, let's say we need to schedule a phone call to John Adams. I'm going to go up and click on Call, and a dialog box is going to pop up where it tells you the activity type. The activity type is right here under Call. If for some reason you clicked on the wrong one, you can choose this drop-down and choose something else. Now, I want to draw your attention to the fact that there's other items in here. I'm going to ask you to ignore those for now. We can talk about that at another time or in a one-on-one -on -one tutorial only because I try to get people to focus on just these three. So if I want to schedule a call, I can choose the date of the call by clicking on the drop-down. I can choose the time of the call or also I can choose to make the call timeless. And the reason I might make it timeless is I want to remember to call on that day but I don't need to call at a specific time. I can choose the duration of the call, which right now is set to 10 minutes, and I can even send an invitation by email for that call. Now, typically I don't use that, but I will use that when I do meetings, just so people have a reminder and can put it on their calendar. In the regarding field, I can put what it's regarding. Now, as I draw your attention up to the top, where there's details, recurrence, and availability, I can click on details to put in much more detail in this area. So if there's a long list of things that I want to talk about, I can put them right here. I can also make recurring phone calls. And again, I'm not going to touch upon this right here, but let's say there's a particular contact you want to call every month on a specific date. Well, I can schedule it here. Availability can look at different calendars and set times to make sure things are available. But again, I'm going to ignore that for now. So I'm going to click back on the general tab and at this point I'm just going to type in test call one down below there are some settings that I can also choose I can add a color or priority and I can also decide whether or not I want to schedule an alarm to pop up on the screen in this case I'm just going to set it to zero minutes now on these items Typically, when I work with a client, I will go through what are called ACT preferences to show you how to set these things in advance so you don't have to do it every time. We sort of set some priorities for the way these things work. And at this moment, I'm going to click OK. So what I've done is I've actually scheduled the call for right now. And at this point, since I've been talking, the time has passed. But when I click OK, what's going to happen is almost immediately, because I had scheduled it for a time past, this is popping up on the screen. As you can hear, there's an alarm that's coming up that I have set to ring for, I believe, five seconds to make me aware with a sound that there's something that needs to be done. So now that that has popped up on my screen to remind me to call this person, I have some options over here on the right-hand side. I can snooze this. I can clear the alarm, and that will just clear the alarm so I'm not bothered by it anymore. The snooze allows me to snooze it for a period of time. Or what's really important is to make sure that when you schedule things, you eventually clear them. But for right now, I'm just going to click on snooze and have it snooze for five minutes. So 
The question now becomes, once you schedule an activity, where do you find the activities you've scheduled if you need to see them on some kind of list? Well, first, on John Adams, because I scheduled it with John Adams, on his contact screen, if I'm not on the Activities tab, I can simply click on the Activities tab to see what I have scheduled with John. Next, the second way that I can see things, and probably the most common way you're going to do it, is by looking at your calendar. Now, your calendar can have things scheduled, or I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Your calendar can allow you to view all your calls, meetings, and to-dos as can the next item, which is called the task list. And I'm going to go down to the task list. And again, there's my call. I'm going to click on task list. And what you'll see is right now at this moment, I'm not seeing it, but I'm going to press the F5 key to refresh it. Or I might need to choose some options so that I see what are called private settings as well. Okay. And I at this and I'm not sure why it's not showing up but it should be showing up and that's sort of surprising to me but I'll come back to that in another tutorial so there's three places you can see it here on the task list you can also see it on your calendar and also on the activities tab of a contact and act what's really important to do is this and what makes act such a great feature tool is that when you're working in act Act records what you have and have not done. So when you create an activity and complete it, you want to clear that activity. So let's say I'm right here on John Adams and I place the phone call. To clear this, and you'll see this also on the task list, there will be a little box. And if I click on that box, I have the option here to complete the call by just simply clicking OK. If a follow-up call is required, I can schedule it again right here on the follow-up call. Now, I think the reason it didn't show up on the task list is I had marked this call as private, and that's why it wasn't showing up. I'll have to go back and revisit that. But having stated that, this is how you clear a call. And why is this aspect of ACT so important? When you do things in ACT, Things you schedule are contact-centric, meaning you schedule things with the actual contact you want it to happen with. If you've been using Microsoft Outlook as a calendar, you'll notice that things are not contact-centric, meaning they're just sort of general things to do. They're not connected to a contact. The reason this is so different and so vital to be aware of is because down the road, by scheduling and clearing things, you can see what has been done in the past. It creates a history or record of it. So when I click OK right here, and again, I can put notes in here. I can do a follow-up. I can do a bunch of things here. But when I click on OK right here, what you're going to see is now the call has disappeared. But also, if you notice right up here under the call reach, it put in today's date. That's the record of the phone call that I made to John Adams. So by creating things and then clearing them, it creates a history or a record of what's happened. And that can be very important, and it is very important down the road as you try to keep track of the things you have and have not done and the things you need to do. So clearing activities are an important component of scheduling activities, and you just want to be aware of that. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Holowitz, and I want to thank you so very much for being here. You have a great day. Thank you.